So welcome to GMO Media. I'm excited to have you on board. And in this first training, I really want to actually basically say my plan for what I want you to achieve in this program. I want you to be able to learn the fundamentals, be able to turn Facebook into a lead generating machine, whether that be organic or paid ads. My main goal here for every one of you guys is to, for example, if you have organic over here, so using utilizing all of our free advice within this training as far as how to grow and get more leads and make more money and grow the business for free. And then with paid ads. So my goal is here, organic, help you guys, you know, make an extra five to 10,000 a month with organic and actually creating a good plan for you to make money with no ad spend. And then lifting up your paid ad side to be able to get that to a level where obviously we're making, you know, five, 10, 15, 20, or even more thousand a month. Okay. So that is the plan. So Cutting straight to the chase, um, in this module, I want to go over, this is going to be a longer one, so go ahead and grab a notebook and take notes throughout this one. You're going to learn a lot, and I want you to implement everything I talk about in this video. If you don't implement it, you're shooting yourself in the foot, and basically you join this program for no reason, okay? So first things first, I'm going to show you how to build, basically, I'm going to show you how to build out your personal Facebook and your business Facebook to a point where it's generating new leads and it's nurturing basically a ton of people in your local area to eventually want to work with you. Okay. Step two is content creation. I want to show you how, how and what type of content to post to your market, to your audience of people that follow you to eventually get them to request a quote or become a lead and become a customer. Okay. So the whole plan here, guys, is to like set up a plan organically and paid. That way people can see you all around. We're building up a ton of people. Okay. We're influxing a bunch of people into your market, into your audience, and then selling those people over time, but they don't know that they're getting sold pretty much. They just see that you do a lot of really good work and over time they want that same good work. Okay. So that's pretty much all it is. Okay. Third, I'm going to show you where to post this stuff because it's not just on the business page. There's other avenues. Um, I'm going to show you how to build this audience. Okay, because if you think of it this way, your personal page is the only way you can grow your business Facebook page in a sense, like actually consistently. So your personal Facebook page over here needs to be funneling in new people every single day within your market to be able to grow the business page. So I'm gonna walk you through how to do that. And then I'm gonna walk you through how to nurture this audience of people to eventually become customers. So that's my goal for this training. Like I said, it's gonna be a longer one, so take notes, get a notepad out. And uh, yeah, I hope that you get a lot of value out of this as well. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, so let's go ahead and get this show on the road. So first thing I want to go over is Facebook profile structure for your personal and your business Facebook page. So I'll dive into this here in a second. Uh, this is gonna be basically how to grow the audience and content. But like I said, first plan is structure, it's everything. So most companies, usually have this down but if you don't i want you to start off on the personal because most companies usually have a good facebook page usually okay but one thing they lack a lot of is the personal and the personal is the main driver really this should be you creating a massive audience here and funneling it all into the business so i'm going to touch on this first and then I'm going to go to the business and then I'm going to walk through the next steps. So, like I said, we need to turn your Facebook page, both your personal and your business into a lead generating machine. So first things first is people need to know that you are the go to when it comes to whatever service you do. So if your page is filled with a bunch of memes, a bunch of just dumb personal posts like a lot of people do. Like when they look at your page, there's no value there that doesn't speak anything about you. So the same reason why you're in this program is because you've seen me do this the exact way we teach our clients to do this. So with me, you saw the very first video was us helping all of our clients, how we help our clients, everyone that we've helped, how much we've made, how we exactly do what we do. Okay. So this is a pinned video. This is the main thing that everyone's going to see the first time around when they see the profile. Okay. And then as, as they scroll down to the Facebook page, they're going to see other content that also nurtures them. Okay. It's going to show that there's value that's being provided. There's people that we 
definitely help. There's podcasts that we're on, there's videos um, in successful clients that we've got. Basically, you know, it shows that we do a lot of really good work. So over time, you know, all these 2.5K friends that I've got here on Facebook, over time, they're going to see this content and they're going to get nurtured over time. Facts, that's probably why you're in this program, actually, is because you've seen me helping a lot of people in the area, not in the area, but on like in this industry. So, but this is what we want to do with your Facebook page. We need to turn it into a funnel. So I'm going to walk through a few good client examples of just people that have been able to do this pretty well. And the first one is going to be Tommy. Then I'll move to Jeremy. And then I'll move to myself. I just touched on and then some of the business pages. So the first thing here is to structure. So the first plan here is to structure both pages to look professional in understanding what you post. Okay. And then I'll walk you through how to actually build this audience of people. So the first step is going to be structure. So for example, if you were a potential lead that, you know, for example, maybe someone mentioned you in a local group, someone asked who's a go to for house washing and someone commented your name. If they click on your page, the first thing that they should see is what you specialize in. Okay. It can still be personal be related posts, but I would do, you know, I want to just have that as far as what you show people in your audience. So the first thing is header, make sure it looks solid. So this could be a picture with your team, you know, you buy your truck with a wrap on it, or you spraying down a house, um, really anything that shows branding. Okay. And this is going to be the same for your business page as well. Okay. And then basically a picture, this can be a family picture. It doesn't have to do anything with, like, with business, as long as it's not a meme or anything that doesn't actually have to do with you personally. So after that is pretty much just structuring this a little bit better, showing people, you know, what areas you serve, what you do. Okay. That's pretty much that. So Tommy's a good one. I'll pull up another one here as well. One of our newer clients, Nathaniel. Um, I actually love what he puts in his bio here. It is I wash homes and I love what I do. Okay. So that's the first thing there. And then, you know, the pin post is pretty much what they do. So if you kind of see the traction here is to get this all structured well in the first video that you have should ideally be the best video that you've got. It doesn't have to be a video, but a video always performs better. So the selfie videos that we have you make, we want you to post to your audience of personal people and business on the business page. Okay. But your personal page needs to act like a funnel. So the first thing they need to see is how you help people, who you are, what areas you serve, what you're doing for a customer. And ideally you want this one to blow up with engagement. So you want to try to get everybody to go to this, like it, comment, share, um, leave reviews on it. This is going to be basically the social proof. Okay. And over time, I usually tell our clients like three to five times per week per page and per platform, you need to post. So you need to post pictures of your team working that's engaging. So Tommy, for example, as you scroll through his posts, you see that he's doing good work. You see that, for example, thank you for choosing us to wash your home. Okay, and another key note I want you to write down right now, and I talk about this in another module, but I want you to write this down now, is, for example, if you get a piece of content like this, it's a selfie with your brand, and shows you out working, go ahead and tag the customer. If you're not friends with them on Facebook, like, you need to set your Facebook page up to where it shouldn't be embarrassing for you to friend customers, okay? And then tag them. Okay, so if this is a family member, a friend, or someone that is kind of close, but not actually family or friend, go ahead and tag them. This is going to show up on their timeline. It's going to show up on their friend's timeline and yours as well. Okay, this, so this is just another way to pretty much 3x the engagement on this post. So if you're the only one that posts it, right, if you post it on your personal, that's one. Post it on your business, that's two. And if you tag them, it pops up on their feed and their other in their customers' feeds as well. Or not, I mean their friends feed. Okay, so that's just one thing that you would definitely want to do is you want to tag these people. It's kind of like SEO. The more you basically show that you're out actually working in the area, 
and people see that you do a lot of work for people they may know or you're tagging these people, it's more social proof. So this is, like I said, the first step, okay, structure. So ideally we want you to record a solid selfie video. The first thing we want you to do is pin it to the top of the page, build up some good engagement. This is a funnel. When people look at your page, they need to see that you are the authority and that you do a lot of really good work and that they're, you're trustworthy and they know who is coming to their house when they need their house washed or whatever service you do. Okay. And then over time, three to five posts per week, ideally. And obviously you can post personal related stuff too, but a majority of it should probably be business related. So we've got content examples in um, these modules here and you can post these. So for example, a selfie of you standing out by the road, showing your team washing a house, mowing lawns, hanging Christmas lights, anything like that. Okay. Something like this in a sense. Okay. So you want to start getting a ton of these and ideally, you know, picture a customer right back here by Tommy over Tommy's shoulder. If they're holding one of your yard signs that say house washing that builds some more social proof. So that is also just some stuff of the content we want you to get. So this is more of a strategic type of video kind of walking you through every, everything we want you to do. The other modules in this is about like how to get the content and what type of content to get. Okay. But at the end of the day, just keep it simple. You want to structure your personal and your business page as a funnel, and you want to keep these people in the loop of what you're doing actively in the community. Okay. That is step one. Now, step two is also doing this with your, basically the business Facebook page. So every time you've got a friend on your friends list, obviously you want to invite them to your business page. Okay. But this business page also needs to be structured. So it needs to have obviously the correct information here, you know, what you do, what areas you service, and then ideally a pinned video at the top, same thing with the personal page and then same five, three to five posts per week, except not personal, uh, on the business side. So that's pretty much that. And you don't really want to go after a lot. Like for example, this one is really solid. He records a video showing that he's doing a gutter cleaning for a customer. Okay. But when you post this stuff, you want to be engaging with your customers. So, you know, ideally you can post some before and afters, but what's really going to do it is the selfie video content, the selfie pictures of you outside, you know, by a customer's house or even with a customer with your team, etc. cetera, um, that will just stop from someone from scrolling a lot more than just a before and after. So, that is basically step number two. Now I want to go into the audience building because the audience building is such an important part. And one of our clients, Nathaniel, he actually signed on about two weeks ago at the date of this recording. And now he's up to, or when he signed on, he was around right 700 friends in his local area. And we got that up to 1.5 K in his area. Okay. So same way that I was telling you guys before, that 95% of the people that follow me are within this industry. So the quality of my followers are solid. It's not, you know, for example, if you're an exterior cleaner, if it's like 95% exterior cleaners, like you're shooting yourself in the foot, obviously posting all of this stuff that I'm telling you to post, isn't going to do anything because it's only reaching people out of state and in the same market that you're doing. So what you need to be doing is, you know, let's just say, for all of our guys at the most, most of the time, I think there's a 5k limit on how many friends you can have on Facebook. Most of you guys aren't even there. So I want to add as many friends as you can as possible. So for Tommy, we're trying to get him up to like two or three K over the you know course of the next three, six months. And what you want to do here is, like I said, if you're following every advice as far as content and you're posting, you're still shooting yourself in the foot if you have no audience. So like I, like I said, your personal page needs to be funneling in new people every single day and nurturing new people every single day. That's how you're going to grow. So how you do that is you go into the local groups. Okay. So this is just a local group near me, but this can be literally any Facebook group 
And what you want to do is you want to try to get a little bit specific on these groups if possible. So let's just say you live in a big city, but you know that a lot of people in these groups are probably not ideal fits. So what you want to do is you want to go through Facebook, the Facebook groups and try to search up, like, for example, the higher end communities in your area and try to get inside those groups. Now, you don't need to post inside these groups. You can if you want to. And that's something I'll get into here in a minute. But what I really want you to do is just follow a bunch of these people in your market. Like this is a big audience of people that you can sell to, but you just need to get them on your end so that they see your stuff. So most people, what they do is they just post in the local groups and it's boring content that doesn't even do anything. So you want to be in control of your audience. So the first thing you want to do is like I said, you want to build an audience here. If you have no audience, you have no one to sell to. You have no customer base. So go to local groups. And what I would do is I would just look through this stuff. I would go through here and I would try to send, you know, 30 to 60 friend requests per day. If you can do more, do more. At the end of the day, it's all about nurturing the market. So you can go to people new in this group. Um, you can go to people near me or members with things in common. And you can start friending these people to build up the friends list. So for me, for example, you know, we go to wash tube university, which is an exterior cleaning group. Okay. And for me, if we want to get a lot more clients, we don't send cold emails. We don't be annoying like that. What we do is we build up an audience of people and over time they see that we do a lot of good work and then they want to work with us. That's just how that is. So for example, let's just say I wanted to build up the audience. What I would go ahead and do is go to new to this group. And I would look at people that be solid fits and I would just start friending people and I'm not sending cold messages or cold emails, but what I'm doing is I'm building an audience. Like I said, and over time, they're going to see that I'm working with people in the area. They're going to see that help people love what we do for them. And over time, that's going to nurture people into wanting to work with us. So at the end of the day, that is another avenue you want to do. And like I said, you need to be growing your personal Facebook page. It is a must. You can't only just grow your business Facebook page. The cool thing about growing the personal is because people know, like, and trust people. They don't just buy from a logo, right? They buy from someone they know, like, and trust. They ha you have to talk to a customer. You have to meet them in person at some point for them to actually like and trust you and want to recommend you people, okay? So the first thing you want to do is build up. You want to structure the page, kind of going back to my first tangent here is you want to structure the page. Okay. Once you've got some solid content and you're posting, you know, consistently and you're getting the actual good types of content we talk about engaging personal branded related stuff. Like I said, the next step is to constantly fill up your audience. So ideally 30 to 60 friend requests per day going into the local groups. Okay. And starting to friend all these people. And I would go into a bunch of different groups too. It doesn't just have to be one group. It could be multiple of the city groups around you and just start friending people that look like good fits and start building that up. Okay. And over time, you're going to be getting these people seeing your stuff. So back to my whole goal here is I want to get this thing to bring in a lot of money for you guys, but you need to understand why we're doing this. So same way with how YouTubers and everybody you follow online, you see their content and you look up to them. You wouldn't look up to them and you wouldn't see their content if they didn't have an audience. So you need to build a follower list of people in your area that we, you can sell to over time. Okay. And we can also basically fire this up and actually get this out to a lot more people with ads, but this is a very important part of the foundation. Okay. So this is that pretty much as far as um, what you need to be doing. Okay. Now I went over structure. I went over content. I went over where to post this, post this, and also how to build the audience. Right. And let me touch, touch base here on the, uh, where to post a little bit more just so you guys are completely clear on that. So, like I said, you want to post around three to five times per week on your personal page, your business page, and if possible, the local groups, that's how many times you want to post but you need to also build up the audience. So if you think of it this way, the first step, honestly, is just getting the content. 
getting really good branded content of your yard signs that people already see in your market, buy houses that you did, pictures of your team, happy to serve. Okay, this is the most important part. After that, you want to build up the audience. And after that, you want to basically post to this audience. Okay, so this is just the organic side. So this is what I'm talking about. Personal page, business page, and local groups. So that's that. Now, I want to go over how to and actually invite friends and basically just build up an audience on your business one too. Okay, I've kind of went over how to build this up just from your personal side, right? You friend new people, you build up this audience. Over time, as you get new friends, you can invite these people to like your business page. Pretty simple, okay? But another thing that you can actually do here is hitting two birds with one stone. And when we actually run our ads, right? So you're already friending people that, or you're already inviting people to like your page that are friends with you on Facebook. But another thing that you can do, and most people don't talk about this, is you're hitting two birds with one stone. You're making sure you're actually growing your audience here. So this is one of our clients, Nash. And this one ad is 148 likes. Another one of our ads with him has over 300 likes. And I'm gonna show you guys what you can do here to grow your audience more. So like I said, 300 or 382, almost 400 likes. There's 300, almost 400 people here that you can invite to like your page. So go ahead and just invite all these people. So over time, as our ads get more traction, how you can actually find this is you go to your business suite, you go to notifications, and you click on ideally one of the ones that say comment on the link you shared, ideally, or comment it on your post, okay? And it will lead you to this and you can actually see, you know, which one is pretty much an ad. And you can go in here and you can invite all these people to like the page. And the cool thing about this is one, you're building an audience, but two, these people will see our ads even more now that you invited them and we can retarget these people to warm them up over time. So that's a very important part. And then, like I said, just kind of recapping this whole thing. Like, like I said, guys, you need to implement all of this, but you need to understand it. If you guys have any questions about this, don't hesitate to reach out. This is such an important part and I want you to all to understand it. So, if you need a step-by-step -step guide, you can actually print this out. If you are not able to, let me know and I can send it to you privately. But this is pretty much the guide. So everything that I've walked over through in this video is more of just an in-depth explanation of what this kind of says. But this is something that I want you to print out and follow. So ideally, you're doing this on a per week basis. So I'd probably print this out four times every single month. So four times every month. And I'd go in and check this off every single week, making sure that you are doing this, keeping yourself accountable. If you're not doing this, then if the ads aren't working, this is part of it. So everything needs to be dialed in. That's why I say it always takes time. For everyone that hops in here, it takes time to build. An average customer sees you six times before they want to buy from you. So just keep that in mind. So to kind of run over this to-do list here, um, I want you guys, to, every single job, I want you guys to get like six pieces of content. So ideally like one good selfie video, two before and afters, uh, different angles, just to make sure lighting and everything like that looks solid. Um, two pictures of a yard sign in front of the home, so pretty much kind of like this. And the key here with the yard sign one is if you're already putting yard signs out in specific areas that we want to target, they're going to resonate and they're going to get reminded of you because they've seen you around before. It's part of that hitting them six times before they buy part. Okay. Same thing with a customer, like a selfie with the team or a customer holding your yard sign or in the background doing some work. Okay. This is also very important. So just get content like this. The reason why we want you to get six per job is so that way, let's just say you have two jobs in one week, you've got 14 pieces of content instead of two or 12 pieces of content instead of two. So you could post for 12 days consistently rather than get, only getting two like normal people would. And half of the time, normal people only get both before and after pictures. That's all they get. So the basically the key here is to just get a ton of content and love getting content, like just like get a whole bunch of it. That way you have an arsenal of content we can utilize over time that's gonna help. 
So the better looking content that you've got, the better content that portrays what you do well, the more it's going to work, the more it's going to work for you. So content is leverage. Okay. Now that you've got this content, like I said, you need to structure the page well as well, but you also need to invite people to like the page and you need to build up your friends list from the local groups. Like I was saying, you need to go in in front of a bunch of people, right? Get these people to like you over time, provide value to them, show that you're doing a lot of good work in the area, show that you are the go-to and that people love what you do for them. Okay. Because really think about it. Like I was like, you need to sell people how you want to be sold. If all you do is show a picture of a before and after, and you say that you do stuff, you say that you do services, but there's no visual, there's no sale. So I was thinking about this earlier today. It's like, if I was seeing someone that I know in the market, or maybe even if I don't know, maybe someone just sent me a friend request. And over time, I see their post of them in my area doing work that I may need or I may not need. If I don't need it, I'd probably refer people that I know to them. But you need to actually show that you're doing good stuff around the neighborhood and you need to make your content and your audience basically work for you in a sense. So that's pretty much that. And like I said, guys, this is pretty much a really in-depth video. I want to make sure you guys implement this. This is just a step-by-step -step guide that you can follow and print off and check off and pretty much just implement. So the things I want you to walk away with today is think of if you looked at your Facebook page as a customer view, would you buy from you? Like, does it actually sell you at all? Okay, so think about that. I would structure your business and your personal Facebook page, make it look professional, but also brand yourself. Make it known that you're better than everybody else in your market. Step two is pretty much building the foundation, okay? Growing this audience consistently posting to this audience. So people see this post all the time. If you've got 3000 friends in your local area and every one of them see your post three to five times per week, or at least, you know, 10%, that's 300 people that see your posts every week. And they're probably going to work with you. So a lot of you guys have organic systems in place. Like you, you do all like the free stuff. You just don't do it well. And that's why we want to focus on this. So I hope this has provided some value for you today. If you have any questions for me, like I said, reach out. But this is such an important part. I just want to make sure you guys all implement it. So like I said, if any questions, message me. But I hope this provided a lot of value for you guys today. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.